Well, I'm continuing to paint on one side of the handbook courts at Camp Street in Worcester, Massachusetts, everyone. And we're redoing it because we love to maintain this iconic handbook location that in a court that is over 40 years old. We estimate it's about 40, 41 years old. And, and per perhaps more. You know, we're not, we're not sure how this came to be because there was a similar one at the Greenhill Handball Courts on the Lincoln location. You know, when you off of Lincoln Street, the Green Hill Parkway in Worcester, Mass, they had a similar um, handball court. Was it two sides like that? Yeah, it was two sides. Yeah, two-sided. It was a 20-footer, I think. Oh, 20-footer. Oh, one, I think it was the sides were longer? Uh, it, it was like the one at Castle. Oh, it just like that. Oh, it's a it like hollow a 20, wall. 20 foot. Uh, I believe it was 20. Three wall, you know, short three wall court. But it was mostly, at first it was all, you know, three walls and later. And then um, when the one wallers came from New York or from wherever, they were used to playing one wall, so they just played one wall on it. Uh, and and not like that three we wall. Did, we did in Holyoke and other places. And, uh, I know some other places that have three wall courts people tend to kind of play. Uh, one wall on them, they just don't really count the side walls. Here, you know, we do a little bit of both, mostly one wall. You know, the walls are a little short to even use for three wall. But three walls are kind of a game that if you don't have running space on the side, then you can't really play three wall, you know, properly. Here you can run off the side a little bit. The way it was before, you know, when it had the walls that were longer, it had a drop. You know, and then you can just win right out. Yeah, it had a ledge. Yeah, it, yeah, was, it was an after. ankle and knee breaker. Yeah, three yeah. and no way you could play three ball like that. You need a nice smooth surface to do that. And you need longer walls. Like I said before, we're darkening this because you know, we're trying to keep the appearance of it and not to look all, you know, uh, rough. You know, with, there's a darker color, you know what I'm saying, the ball. It's a blue ball, you know, and when it's light out, you can see the ball. I mean, we had choices with the balls that we use anyway, with the, the racquetball Oops. kind of ball. I mean, we have, um, you know, lighter balls that we can use we really had to. They don't bounce usually as good as that, you know, the blue ones. Uh, but, but like I said, we played uh, many times on this. And if you could play on black asphalt, which is not ideal, but this is a pretty sunny court. They need Maybe with the blue ball here throughout the day. If it gets a little shady, you might lose it a little bit. Uh, what was the other one that we used to use? The pink ball. Yeah, the pink ball, the Wilson yeah, pink ball. Yeah, the good. Uh, but you can see it, that's what I'm saying. You have options. Normal, you don't really have that option. There used to be a red one, I think. The pink ball. You know, this is not really a place to play small. You could be hit by the problem is, you know, the the fence is not small link it's not fence. It's small link or, and it's too close. So our big balls go into the street all the time here. Yeah. So a small ball, six dollar ball, you're going to lose them all. And we're looking forward and we're going to continue to advocate because it's in the master plan, the Southwester master plan for 2015 for four one more handball course with fence and lighting. So th we want this spot to be popping, you know, to create a possible, a very positive handball location, instill a, a positive handball culture for all ages and skill levels. Well, and it's not just handball. Uh, we really want to partner up with uh, racquetball players that are doing, you know, that play one more racquetball, roll out the racquetball, or, or any other organizations that do uh, one more racquetball. So that way, uh, this location is going to be fantastic. You know, we want to try to encourage a lot of the, the outdoor racket sports or paddle sports as well. Because, you know, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves when we advocate for courts here and courts there. And then uh, with us doing that, because we have a really strong influence and as far as playing, you know, our presence is that when we show up to the park, we make a lot of calls, we, you know, and even uh, competitively, seems to have an influence with, uh, with 
of us showing up in the park, you know, and, and getting more players to play. But with our absence, you know, when we're fixing courts and stuff like that, sometimes the, the game kind of diminishes a little bit. But uh, when we get back to it, we want to make sure that there are people to fill in these courts. You know what I'm saying? So if we're going to have four at Green Hill, hopefully we get the fencing. We'll get the fencing. Yeah, we're talking about we'll fencing. additional fencing for get Green Hill. Four here, and then we got two at Crompton, and then we're going to have probably another two. Off of Lincoln Street. Lincoln Street. So we have all these locations, and then we want to make sure that we get the players, whether it's racquetball and handball, too. You know, and we want to, you know, it's not just someone coming from an hour or two away, locals, you know, to pick up the sport that's maybe either have played it but not outside, or, um, you know, people to try it, you know, instead of, uh, you know, just gravitating to, you know, to the other sports. I mean, you could play more than one sport anyway, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, increase the, increase the players, both outdoors and indoors. On a beautiful day like this, there should be, you know, 50 people here. Oh, yeah, 50 people. Well, a, holiday, a lot of yeah. people here, a lot of you people at Crompton, a lot of people at Green Hill. You know, you know, it's a nice, nice day. It's nice to be acknowledged by people in the community doing something positive. Well, a lot, of, a lot of more people play this than people know. You know, some people uh, play it, but they get caught up um, busy in life and, and they don't really have the time. Or if not, you know, this that's why this location is really important. A lot of people don't know about the Green Hill or the Crompton ones really yet. They haven't really sunk it in yet. This one sinks in because it's been here a lot longer and it's... Um, it's a very visible course, so that's why we want to really, really use this as a, you know, as, as a, a springboard for, for all the sports, you know, especially we're going to start with this one like this, and then we're going to, so next year we're going to really try to tap into the youth that are already in the, in the park and other, and really concentrate on this one. And, uh, you know, we're, you know, that way when the four courts are built, they're really looking forward to it, and there's already players here. That it's not just a shift from the Crompton players that just move over here now, back to the four courts now. And then Crompton gets like not a lot of use. We don't want that. We want it to be, you know, where there's 50 people already waiting for this court when it's built in the next five years. Okay. We want to make sure. He heard it from William. That's what our goal is to grow and promote the sport of handball, increase usage in existing handball courts, and take care of the ones that look rough and hurt and really instill in the community and in the parks and rec that this is another way to target a group of people to do something that's affordable and fun. For all ages and for all, you know, for men, women, for, you know, it doesn't matter. And, uh, all, you know, it, like I said, it's not just handball. We're New England handballers, but we still love racquetball. You know, I mean, it's fantastic to meet like Jim Bovey and Raul Nieves and, racquetball players and if you really want to partner up with even paddleball players I just love you know the way it is in places like New York City you know Florida for that matter or uh, other locations that have you know four or five of the court sports going on even if it's racket tennis you know which I've seen that even if it's uh, pickleball we're hoping that that grows in, in our city as well all of those sports are, are just fantastic so um, you know we just want people to be out of all ages in these parts just like what you see at theme park in Shrewsbury still playing tennis and they're you know in their 70s and they're still getting out there having a good time you know and obviously we know people that are 70s and the handball and I still can't beat them so <laughs> well William I'm gonna catch up with you and I'll check you in in a little while okay have a great one everybody enjoy your Labor Day weekend and be safe okay and by the way this is my painting shirt in case you see the same shirt all okay the time. <laughs> and be careful out there and please put on your seatbelts like the cops say, click it or ticket. Bye-bye, everyone.